I'm Houston. Warner Todd Houston. I work for Andrew Breitbart and a bunch of oh, other David. websites. So yeah, uh, I was hoping I'd see Andrew. He's uh, going to be across the street here uh, pretty shortly at a little tournament we've got together. So uh, I'm actually headed that way now. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm headed that way now. I will. Unfortunately, to him. So, uh, what are you interested in? I mean, what what are you looking at here for the immediate future? Well, I'm thinking about running for president. I'll make a decision in April, mm -hmm. and uh, and I'm serious when I say that. I haven't made a decision. But I'm trying to test the waters, and having been around a long time, I understand what it means to your family, to uh, your job, and so we'll see. But I'll decide in April. Now, Governor, Hurricane Katrina was a catastrophic event in the Gulf, and when you compare the results in your state to the results in Louisiana, the recovery in your state seemed to have been much stronger. Uh, how do you account for that? I mean, obviously you were in charge, so you deserve a fair amount of credit for this. But what did you do right that made the difference? Look, our people are st strong, resilient, self-reliant people who got knocked down flat and they weren't whining and moping and looking for handouts. They got up, hitched up their britches and went to work. Now, they were blessed that volunteers, corporations, our sister states, even the federal government were tremendously generous to us. But our people wanted to get home to their communities and rebuild them. So we got the schools open in six weeks. Every public school in Mississippi was open before any public school in New Orleans. You can't rebuild your community. People can't come home until they got a job, their kids can go to school, and they got a place to live. Our big employers tried very hard to get back open as quickly as they could, and only the casinos were delayed because the law had to be changed to allow them to come on shore where they, because their, their facilities had been destroyed that were floating in the Gulf. Uh, but the biggest thing is that, that our people wanted to be back on the coast. They wanted to rebuild their communities, and they saw that it could happen. They saw the commission that we appointed on the Gulf gave them confidence and hope that there was a good plan and that, that, that this was going to happen. And if they would stick with it, the coast would come back bigger and better than ever. And that's why the Mississippi Gulf Coast has come back bigger and better than ever. Well, of course, the, uh, the one of the big the big uh, questions about uh, your possible run for presidency. Everyone keeps saying, how can a white Southern man beat the first black president? Uh, what is your response to that? This election will be about policy. The election in 2010 was about policy. And the American people rendered the most massive repudiation of President Obama's policy of any president in American history. And it wasn't just Republicans, it wasn't just conservatives. Uh, independents voted Republican by 20 points, and it was because they knew Obama's policies were hurting the country. At a time when economic growth and job creation was the most important thing, they're out there talking about raising taxes, concocting a government-run health care scheme. The government is sucking up all the money, one and a half trillion dollars skyrocketing deficits. And all that money is being denied to the private sector. So you take, you name a policy, and almost every policy, especially energy policy, was anti-job creation. Agreed. Uh, they spent a trillion dollars on a stimulus package that just stimulated more government. Indeed, they did, especially unions. Especially Got that unions. right. I'm being, they're, they're putting a hook on me here. Okay. Guys. Well, thank you very much for your time. Yes, we appreciate your time. A great pleasure.